everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today I'm gonna be going over the wrap on my 2020 Ford Raptor. A lot of you have been asking, you know, how much does this cost? Is it worth it? All that kind of stuff. If you don't know, this truck was originally black, and then now it is obviously bright orange. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go over the cost of a wrap, you know, kind of like the stuff you have to do to maintain a wrap. And then, you know, I'm gonna go over basically the pros and the cons and, you know, if it's really worth it to wrap a truck. However, we're not gonna be doing it at the, our normal locations. So normally, obviously we film in the driveway on the side here. But today we're gonna be heading over to my friend's house at, I don't think I'm allowed to say where he lives. So somewhere in Utah, but first off, I'm going to pick up my other friend. Then we're going to wash the rest of the truck because it's still super dirty from yesterday. I mean, you guys can see, just look at the rims. And then you can also see there on the front bumper and then a little bit on the mirror there, side steps. Yeah, all along right there. Yeah, so still a little bit dirty all over. So I'm going to go clean the Raptor quickly. And I'm actually going to talk about some stuff on the vinyl while I'm cleaning it. And then we're going to go over all of the stuff. So let's get into the video. I promise we're gonna get to the wrap part, but this whole thing is house. Like, like this whole like street block all the way down, like all the way down over there. It's all house. Like I will, just look at this thing. The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It is just absolutely massive. And of course only in Utah you get something like this. We uh, kind of got a new car, sort of. Uh, we got we to gotta obviously open up the garage. So that, uh, I can show this to you guys. Whoop. Got the Raptor right there. And actually, it'd be better to go back up the stairs. This is my friend's Mercedes. It does actually sound pretty cool. We're going to go inside and start it up and all that. But uh, wait. Yeah. I love the wheels that he's put on it. They look really good. But yeah, let's pop inside. Ah! Too much technology for me. Too much luxury. Okay, wait. Yeah. This has like those little crackles and everything, but you can see some of the cool stuff like he did little paddles and then you can see the steering wheel is neat as well. And then I can't remember if there's anything else on the interior that he added touches, but it's mostly to the exterior. I just wanted to like start it up for you guys cause, cause I can, but let's go to the outside. Okay, so we got a couple things. You've got this down here, which is obviously an add-on. I mean, I, I know guys, just, just, it looks cool, okay? Obviously you've got the little spoiler at the top as well. And then the wheels on the side. And then the best part is around front, massive front splitter. So again, we'll get to the wrap in a second, but first we've got to, uh, we gotta head inside cause I gotta I got show you guys something cool. So um, gotta run back up here. Close this up. Bye, Raptor. So right now, all you guys see is black. But wait for it. Yes, this is this is real life. We've got a poster of the Joker. TV. So like, and and I mean, these aren't just like your regular run-of-the-mill chairs. You guys can see there's a couple functions on them. You've got like these like backwards and forward functions. That's like the illuminate the cup holders. Oh, I think I just turned it off by accident. Let's go to the next one. Next. Okay, so you can see I can like illuminate the cup holders with that little button. I think I keep turning them off. I'm doing something wrong here, guys. I think I might have like the bad touch. Maybe if I don't sit in it. Yes, there we go. And you can see they adjust. Okay, let's try not, let's try not to uh, do anything funny. Now we can see that these like fully adjust, these little buttons right here. So like, and yes, yeah, still turtle flip-flops by the way. Fully reclining seats and you get those views. Okay, okay, we'll talk about the wrap now. So obviously I've got to open up the garage again. We got the Raptor out here and yeah, we'll just go over it. So we'll talk about cost first on the wrap. Now we're actually gonna talk about the actual cost. So most places are gonna charge between, you know, two to $4,000 to wrap a vehicle. Obviously I'm gonna be paying a little bit less for most places because of the channel. I'm just gonna be straightforward with you guys on that. Most places will obviously charge me less for most products because I sponsor their stuff, you know, you know what I mean? I will give them a shout out, all that kind of stuff. And so then they're gonna charge me less or it's the other way around, they sponsor me. But anyways, so that's typically what a wrap costs is you're in that two to $4,000 range. I paid a lot less for the truck wrap than that, but that's what it usually is to actually do a color change on a wrap. Now, one of the huge benefits, and this is number one of the benefits, is it protects the paint. So you guys can see right up here, I had a rock chip on the wrap. 
Now, hasn't I haven't fully peeled it away or anything like that, but instead of the paint getting damaged, it's just the vinyl getting damaged, and so the truck is gonna be completely fine. And if I actually pop around to the back of the truck, so like right, I think it was like over here. Oh yeah, so you guys can still see some of the debris and everything. Heavily washing this, right? I'm getting most of it off, but like normally on paint, then you have to, you know, a lot of the times you gotta wax and all that kind of stuff. You can't do that on a wrap, but the nice thing is since you don't have to do that, it is easier to clean and go hardcore with the cleaning. The second benefit is obviously you get to do whatever color you want. So Ford doesn't offer orange from the factory. This truck, as you can see, was originally black. So if I open up the door, you guys can see the original paint right here is black. Ford doesn't offer any color like this. So with the wrap, you get to choose any color you want and it's significantly less than painting because to repaint this whole truck, you're probably looking at closer to like almost 10, well, maybe not 10 grand, but like at least eight grand. So I kind of already mentioned the third benefit, um, but it's the fact that it's easy to take care of. Washing, you just have to wash it. You don't have to buff it. You don't have to do waxing, any of that kind of stuff. You literally just have to wash the vehicle and that's how you keep the wrap clean. You don't have to do anything special. And most vinyl will hold up for about five years, roughly before it kind of goes bad, um, typically before you have to actually change it. Um, but the fact that the maintenance on it is super low is really nice. It's actually less maintenance than paint. The first disadvantage, which obviously is gonna be accounted with the cost is, obviously it's extra cost to wrap a vehicle. And so that can be seen as a disadvantage is the fact that you have to spend, you know, anywhere from roughly two to $4,000 to wrap a vehicle. But again, I feel like that's a very small cost for how much you're actually getting out of it. The second downside is actually the adhesive. So sometimes adhesive will be left over when you take off the wrap and that happened to my Rebel. And so it does cost extra money to get it taken off if you have to get the adhesive off and it is actually pretty difficult to take off. So we can actually go to one of my mirrors. I think it's the driver mirror, I'll double check it. But one of my mirrors uh, right here, you guys can see kind of, so like if I tried to peel this actually up with how cold it is, it's extremely hard to take off. And so sometimes the adhesive and everything sticks and obviously you're gonna get stuff like this. So people will be able to tell if it's wrapped or not when you have those little, you know, imperfections that happen. Cause in Utah it gets so cold that sometimes the wrap will kind of peel up. And same thing in the summer, sometimes it gets so hot that sometimes it'll peel off cause the adhesive will get loose. Oh, and I guess if you're wondering, the best color to wrap over is going to be most likely gonna be black for most things. You guys can see that with this wrap, I didn't wrap it nearly as far as the Rebel. So like for example, in the Rebel, we took off the fender flares and went down. Whereas this, you can see, did not take off the fender flares, but you, it's still pretty difficult to tell that it's actually wrapped. And then another place you can really tell is on the mirrors. So you guys can kind of see right down here with it, didn't tuck it super far. So you will have little imperfections like that that'll happen, but obviously it's gonna be easier for me to take it off rather than you know taking the mirror apart. And then another place that's really easy to tell is back here on the bed. None of this has been wrapped obviously. And so it's, again, makes it easier to take off, but then with black, it doesn't look bad. I mean, just look at the side. And even looking at the truck from a back angle, even looking in, I do need to get bed liner, but even looking in, it doesn't look bad at all. It's, it's, it's almost hard to tell this truck isn't orange from the factory. So I'm back in the theater because it's super cold outside and I just wanted to kind of cap things off for, you know, what I think about wraps and everything overall. So obviously I went over, you know, the cost and all that kind of stuff on the wrap. Um, but I guess the biggest thing is, should you or should you not wrap your vehicle? Now, I feel like in certain circumstances, it doesn't make sense to wrap a vehicle. So if you plan on keeping a vehicle for a very, very short time, then it'd probably be better to get, you know, something like paint protection film, which is also known as clear bra. They just can't call it clear bra anymore because then clear bra is going to sue them. So everyone calls it PPF or paint protection film, just keeping the original color, all that kind of stuff. So that's a really good circumstance that, you know, maybe doesn't make sense to just to wrap it essentially you can still protect the paint but then also you know some people don't want to buy a wrapped vehicle which is weird because i love wrapped vehicles um but i feel like in most circumstances other than that it makes complete sense to wrap a vehicle i love wrapping vehicles because then i can buy the vehicle in you know what i consider a plain color so black black looks beautiful don't get me wrong but it's a very plain color and i love the fact that i can take a black vehicle and then take make it any color i want and I love having crazy colors, by the way, so I can do that and I don't have to suffer on resale value because what's gonna happen is if I need to, you know, if I'm struggling to sell that truck wrapped, I just pull the wrap off. The paint underneath is gonna be like brand new because the wrap protects the paint. And then it's easy, you know, selling a black vehicle is pretty easy, especially if it doesn't have any, you know, imperfections on the paint or it's, you know, super clean overall. So that's a huge reason why I love wraps and, 
if you know you kind of have that same mindset that I have where you want to do a certain color that isn't offered by the manufacturer or you're worried about buying you know a car in a crazy color because you're worried about selling it down the road and you know crazy colors don't necessarily hurt resale value but sometimes they make it harder to sell a vehicle because I've seen it happen all the time on the car lot where we get a car and it's a very weird color and it just sits for a long time just because of the color. And so it's still worth the same amount as any other car, but because it's a weird color, people aren't buying it. Um, and so the wrap allows you to do that, obviously, have the crazy color and then have it, you know, be able to sell it very, very easily. And, you know, another huge benefit of wrapping a vehicle, obviously, is if you want something that's more unique, you can do that because you can do colors that aren't offered by the factory. I've had so many people on, you know, my Rebel when I had that bright green, a lot of people were like, I don't really like the color. A lot of people though were like, that's really cool. Is that a factory color, right? They didn't even know. Um, but a lot of people, I got a ton of compliments just because of the wrap. And it's the same thing with the Raptor. Even though it's just gloss orange, nothing too special about it yet until I uh, add something to it. Nothing crazy to it yet. And I've had so many people compliment me saying that they love the look of the truck. They wish that Ford offered that as a color, all that kind of stuff. And so obviously I get a lot of attention. And so if you you know want more attention for your vehicle or you just want something that's different, because that's really what I like is just having something different. I'm not really caring too much about the attention. I just like the fact that someone can go and see my truck and then they can appreciate it, go, oh, cool, that's different. And then also they can, you know, chances are they can know me because that's my brand, right? My brand now is having a bright orange truck, which is kind of weird. But anyways, if you want something that, you know, just grabs people's attention a little bit more, all that kind of stuff, then it's it's gonna do that. Well, I think that's pretty much gonna sum things up for today's video, and I am, I, w I would end this outside, but I am going to um, basically just, uh, wait for it. Yeah. I'm just gonna be living my best life for the next little bit, and oh, I feel like that's like too far, but <laughs> anyways. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think. And if you guys want me to make more videos about informational stuff like this, I will, of course, um, just let me know on that. I'll see all of you in that next video. So this is at an undisclosed location in the house. Yes, this is, and this is part of just a regular, it, it looks like a regular bathroom, but then it just freaking continues. So obviously we've got all these t-shirts that just spread for miles, but I don't know anything about shoes, guys. So if you guys know anything about shoes, tell me if you think any of these are super cool. I kind of just pan by, those look cool. I like those. Those look cool too. I'll just kind of pan by them. So you guys can see the difference. <laughs> That's funny. Those ones look good too. Oh, I, I am partial to green as well, by the way. So oh, wait for it. We've got more. I like those ones at the top. But yeah, in the comment section below, let me know which pair, pink, oh come on. Let me know which pair of shoes was your favorite out of all of these. Those ones are cool. I bet they're expensive though. I don't know anything about shoes, guys. But yeah, see you.